themselves. By the way, Republicans do this as well. But uh, they all commend themselves. And, and they, I know Staten Island isn't New Orleans, nor am I comparing uh, this storm with Katrina. But uh, maybe Staten Island's not cool. Maybe it's not so cultured. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not anything that many of the mainstream media would like or draw uh, quick comparisons to. But, uh, man, there are a lot of people that have power there. A lot of people have homes there. A lot of people underwater there. Is it because it's Staten Island and no one gives a damn? I mean, I don't know. And, and this. Amid the ruins, the running, Sunday marks the annual New York City Marathon. And guess where it all starts? In Staten Island. Take it to mail tomorrow. City Mayor Michael Bloomberg says the marathon must go on. Why? As locals remain without shelter, power, even clean water. What Many of them are seeing saying? race preparations mm -hmm. underway using resources including generators, lots of water, food, porta pots that they could use, that they would need. To a resident of that, that fine Staten Island, Marianne Alessio, right now. Marianne, how you doing? I've had better days. Things are not good. There's no sunshine here, that's for sure. Um, what do you think of the marathon this weekend? I think the marathon is a disgrace and shame on, on Bloomberg. Shame on that man. Painting blue lines, allowing people to cross over the Verrazano Bridge. They should all be running here to Staten Island to help us. He's providing generators to this marathon. He's supplying people to go to bathrooms when people don't even have homes to live in Staten Island. There's no, no electricity. There's no heat. There's no water. It's a disgrace what he's doing. It's really a disgrace. Putting marathoners up in hotels in the city, we're here in Staten Island. People who are middle class people are homeless and they don't even have a place to live. They're pitching up tents in the street trying to keep themselves warm with little children. That's how bad it is here in Staten Island. We are the forgotten borough. And shame on Bloomberg for not even coming here to look over the station that's done here. His concern is in Manhattan. He's, he's drawing a sunshine picture, and it's not a sunshine picture, I'm sorry. And I don't think New York City is ready for any marathon to come to Staten Island and cross that bridge. You know, Mary, we're only today getting the first real images of just how devastating it was. We've seen a lot, certainly the Jersey Coast and part of the Connecticut Coast, what have you, but uh, the damage to Staten Island uh, certainly rivals uh, any of that damage. Uh, what is it about you guys uh, either getting ignored or shown no respect? Um, I think it's the middle of, of really everything. We're middle class people here in Staten Island. We all work. If you have a family here, most mothers and fathers are working. We're not rich. We're not very wealthy. We are middle class people that go to work, and, and that's basically it. Um, I have to praise Governor Christie on this behalf that he is for his New Jersey people, and he doesn't care what part of New Jersey they're from. Whereas Bloomberg, he is concerned about Manhattan and only Manhattan. He did not come to Staten Island. He did not assess any damage any place else in the New York area. Manhattan, because he's too busy concerned about the marathon. Well, Marianne, you also have the Homeland Security Secretary, Janet Napolitano. Uh, God bless her. She came today, right. and she let her presence known on Staten Island, and she extended her handout to Staten Island. What she is concerned about is the marathon. Not the only um, official. So and what do you need? If you, if you had to reach out to all of these officials on the left or right, whether federal, state, local, what do you need, Marianne? What are your friends well, and neighbors need? Well, I'll be honest need? with you. Uh, what we need, believe it or not, today, I have, I'm, a, I'm a registered nurse, and my husband works as a, he has a very good job also, and with middle class people. I had to get toilet paper, toilet paper, simple toilet paper, from someone in the street that was walking around with toilet paper and bottles of water and tuna fish sandwiches. Toilet paper, go to people who can't get out. Go to people and try to help them. You know, we don't have that. Who's been good is the National Guard. They've been here from day one. NYPD started showing their faces in, in the New York area the second day of the storm because there was so much robbery going around. We, we have homes here that were robbed. People came in from other neighborhoods to rob televisions, uh, whatever they could savage because people evacuated their homes. Me, I thought I didn't evacuate my home, but I was caught up to my neck in water outside my house trying to evacuate my home, and I couldn't. And another neighbor took me back in, me, my husband, and my daughter. Well, Marianne, do you think there are lots of folks still stuck in homes? There might be 
more bodies found in Staten Island? Um, I don't know if you're aware, but we did lose many people here in Staten Island. Um, I know that there's a lot of people that are very destitute, that their areas weren't even touched with health yet. Midland, I know Midland, my friend lives in Midland, and she told me yesterday she went back home. She couldn't even get to her house. The water was so high on Jefferson that she couldn't get there. I mean, here, I live down by Cedar Grove area. That whole place, the whole front was ripped off. Houses were torn from their pavement. And there was no place for these people to go. They were walking the streets like zombies. And no one was there for the first, I would say, 24 hours to help anybody. Then the National Guard, I say again, God bless them, and I use that word God. God bless them. They came and they were helped in support, and NYPD came, then the fire department came. But it's just, it's just not enough. And now Mayor Bloomberg wants to take all this help. He wants to take police officers to line the streets for this marathon. He, he ordered parks department to clean up parks areas. What's more important? People's human lives? Get them water or clean a parks department because a tree fell down. Amazing. Marianne, you said it better than I ever could, which is why I'm going to shut up. I'm sorry, but you know what? There's just so much heart Understood. heartbreaking going on all over here. And not only me, I was destitute. There's many people destitute worse than I. And I just hope everyone gets back on their feet. And hopefully in three months, six months from now, there will be sunshine. There will, Marianne. A little more to this. Thank you.